going to show you how to place a mock-up design on a mock-up image using Canva. So the first thing you want to do is sign up for your account if you do not have one and then you will see this option over here to create a design. Um, so here I want to do custom dimensions. I'm going to do 3000 pixels high or wide by 2000 pixels high and click create a design. Okay, so now what I want to do is upload my mock-up image first. So click on uploads, go to upload an image, go to, let's see, here we go. I have them here as mock-ups and we'll start with this garden flag. Okay, so it's going to import it here. You can click on it. Um, if you drag it across here, you can fit it into the size that you want it to be. Um, it will give you the crosshairs there for when it's in the center, which is really nice. I really like Canva. Easy to work with, easy to keep your images. Okay, so um, now that we have our uh, mock-up image, this is just a JPEG image from Sofonsi. It's part of the spring and summer mock-up bundle. And um, there are 18 professional mock-ups in this bundle that you can use here in Canva, which is free, or you could also use it in Photoshop or Design Space, which I will also be showing you today on the blog. So um, now that we have this garden flag here. Let's go to uploads again. And now let's choose our design. Okay, so I want now to I have a monogram S that I'd like to place on here. So click upload. See how easy that was. Literally click on the image over here on the left. Or you can um, Sometimes I wait until it downloads completely, but this one has. So anyways, then you want to just take the mock-up and kind of drag it wherever you'd like it to be um, on your image. So uh, it looks pretty good right there. It, it doesn't have to be exact because this is really just to show uh, what it's going to look like, which is obviously the purpose of a mock-up. So um, if you, in Canva, uh, one quick... Uh, tip is if you'd like to make the size of the image, if you have a place where you want it, but you want it a little bit larger or smaller, wherever it is located on your canvas that you're working on, just hold down um, on a Mac. It's the option key. Um, you want to hold that option key down and then drag the cursor um, back and forth. And you can see we can make it as small or as large as we'd like. And then I'd also like to go up here and maybe change the transparency a little bit so you could see some of the texture of the flag behind it. And um, there you go. If you want to look at it closer, you can increase um, the size of the image down here in the zoom. And you can see, you can kind of see that um, what it would look like if I press this with heat transfer vinyl. So once you're done, uh, you want to name it. So I'm going to name it garden flag mockup S um, and then go to publish download. I always download the JPEG um, because I use it mostly for online purposes. So if you wanted it to be a different file type, they're all right here. Um, just keep in mind that these options are all only available to someone who has a an upgraded Canva account, not the free one. So you will want to just download the image that you are able to with the account that you have. So I always go to JPEG, change it to 100%, and then click download. And that is literally it. So it's very easy to use Canva for mockups. Um, and like I said, if you have a professional account, you would, you know, have a little, a few more options, but you can use it freely as well if you don't have Photoshop.